Hello students, in this video we'll discuss Green's first identity. So Green's first identity comes from Green's theorem. So let's recall that Green's theorem, in standard form, asserts the following. It says that if I look at the flow integral, p dx plus q dy, which we can also sometimes write in this form, the flow of the vector field p q dot t hat ds, is equal to the double integral over the interior of c of partial q partial x minus partial p partial y da. I'm going to write this in a slightly different form. What I'm going to do is I'm going to consider the flux form of Green's theorem. So this is the flux form. The flux form says if I look at this, if I look at the integral over c, not the flow over c, but now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say p dy minus q dx. And what this will be is this is going to be the flux over this curve of p q and then dot n hat, the normal vector, ds. So, that's the unit. so to the curve, this t hat is the unit tangent vector, and to this curve c n hat is the perpendicular vector to the unit tangent vector, which is the unit normal vector with the right orientation. I've oriented this normal vector in such a way that I get the divergence here. So there's a potential sign issue if I point inward or outward. I orient it in this direction so that I can get the divergence of my operator in Green's theorem. So we can do the same sort of calculation by Green's theorem. This is a double integral over the interior of c, which we'll just call d for simplicity for a domain. And then what I would do in this case, I'm going to do the what? To do p, the term that has a dx, I'm going to do a what? The, 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 x, the dx term gets a negative y derivative, and the dy term gets an x derivative. So I'm going to have an x derivative of p, so I'm going to have partial p, partial x. And then I'm going to have what? The y, negative y derivative of negative q. So it's going to be plus partial q, partial y. And we see that's exactly just the divergence of that vector field over there. So that's the first thing we're going to need over here. So the next identity we're going to need for this Green's first identity is we're going to need the fact that if I do the divergence, the divergence of f times the gradient of g, what will this be? Well, let's write this out term by term. This is going to be the divergence of f g x f g y, f g z. And so I'm going to product rule each of these things. So if I do the extra of the first term, I'm going to have an f times g x x plus f x g x plus f y g y plus f g y y plus the last two terms are going to be f g z z plus f z g, z, and by gathering these terms, this term over here, this term over here, and this term over here, those two terms are f Laplacian of g, and then what's left is fx, gx, fy, gy, fz, gg, that's just the gradient of f dot the gradient of g. So I'm going to use the fact that the divergence of f gradient g is f Laplacian g plus the gradient of f dot the gradient of g. Okay, good? And so now we're ready to apply Green's theorem. So what I want to do now is I want to say let's compute the flux of f gradient g. So that's my vector field, that n hat d sigma. And of course, this is for a three-dimensional vector field. The same is true for what? This formula over here is true for three dimensions. In particular, if there's no z component, it's also true for two dimensions. So this is also true in two dimensions. So n hat ds by Green's theorem is going to be the double integral over d of two terms. The first term is going to be what? It's going to be f Laplacian g da, and then plus gradient f dot gradient g da. And so typically, it's written in the following way. It's written by saying that if I throw this, these gradient terms on the other side, that the flux of this vector field f gradient g dot n hat ds minus double integral over d of gradient f dot gradient g da is equal to double integral over d of f Laplacian g da. And this is Green's first identity. So this is our Green's first identity.
And it turns out that Green's first identity is really an analog of integration by parts in two dimensions. So this is Green's first identity. Thank you very much.